Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well and staying safe these days. So I want to do a little bit of a somewhat follow-up review video. I actually was able to get my hands on a 8GB model of the Surface Go 3 tablet right over here. Here's my Surface Go 2 tablet, which is the base model, 4GB. And uh, I actually don't have my hands right now on a base model Surface Go 3, but being that both of them, according, you know, during the review that I actually did some time back, they're both pretty much very similar models with the exception of only just a change in the CPU, which uh, both of them actually perform pretty much the same. But I wanna actually go ahead and touch up to see if the base model with eight gigabytes of RAM really makes a big difference in performance and whatnot. And uh, let's see what else we can possibly do. Do a couple little benchmarks here, open some browsers. And of course, uh, being that this does have eight gigabytes of RAM, you're definitely going to see an increase in performance when you're opening multiple applications, multiple browsers. You have Word open, Excel open, maybe uh, Microsoft Edge or Mozilla Firefox window open here or there, or maybe even having VLC player in the background as well too. So it definitely does make a difference there, and I've definitely seen that for myself. You can already see here that the usage here on the base model, four gigabyte, is already at 56% with pretty much nothing open. And your usage here is still they're hovering around 29, 30% right now on the eight gigabyte version. So that's definitely supposed to make a difference to some degree there. Another little thing as well too to know is that jumping into the eight gigabyte model for whatever reason, you actually get a more solid and faster SSD in the uh, Surface Go 3 or even Go 2 tablet. This is a little very interesting, uh, just a jinx from Microsoft for some reason. When you get the base model, you get a really slow 250 megabytes a second SSD. Jumping into uh, the 8 gigabyte model or better, you actually get pretty much the speeds you'll probably see on an SSD and this particular kind of tablet, you know, hitting the uh, gigabyte a second, which is uh, pretty much what we're looking for. Obviously, this is uh, not really a pro or anything like that. A, Pro, a Surface Pro 8 or 9 or anything like that. So we're not gonna be anticipating the fastest speeds, but definitely better than 250, which is actually hella slower than uh, your basic SATA SSDs from uh, you know about like 10 years ago now. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. Since I went ahead and brought up the disk speeds here, let's go ahead and bring up Crystal Disk Mark and do a little bit of a benchmark test here to see basically how that works out. Go ahead and open this up here. I'm just gonna do one basically one benchmark as opposed to doing five. And you'll see immediately see the uh, big difference here we actually have. So let's go ahead and just run this now. This benchmark test here is actually done on the uh, Go 2 tablet over here, the base model. I'm actually doing the benchmark itself. Now those are staggering differences right there. <clears throat> you can even see the read speeds already uh, 1.5 gigabytes a second on the 8 gigabyte model. And as I said, you know, literally under 500 megabytes a second on the base model, which uh, it really actually does show uh, when you're actually booting up, opening up some programs and whatnot, um, just basically the limitations of the base model. And I'm really surprised that Microsoft actually did that. SSDs at around this speed, or actually the size, you know, 128 uh, gigabytes, or in this case, 64, are not really expensive. So um, I really can't see how an extra five or 10 or $15 worth of FSD memory to actually uh, basically get speeds like this or somewhat close to it um, would really just make this device uh, any bit cheaper or whatnot and uh, you know just less of a value when you actually see these uh, differences here. So definitely a huge difference here, uh, basically 1.5 gigabytes a second 
Uh, write speed definitely takes a hit there, but still about double the speed as the Go, uh, Base Model Go 2 tablet over here. Now, you might be wondering, um, does this actually affect the Base Model Go 3 tablet? I've actually done benchmarks during my review of the Surface Go 3 tablet, and I've seen basically the same numbers I'm actually having here. I also have had my hands on the original Go tablet, the Go 1 tablet, if you want to call it for that. Uh, basically a smaller screen and all that good stuff. And uh, did have my hands on both the 4 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte model, and I've definitely seen, just out of curiosity, when I installed uh, Crystal Dismark over here, the same results. Uh, the speeds actually weren't as fast as you're seeing here, 1.5 gigabytes, but still a very good speed and a uh, big difference in performance when you're planning to use this for pretty much any task, including browsing. Let's go ahead and open up a couple of uh, pieces of program here and just see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Word, probably just open up Excel, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and open up the VLC, maybe even open up, um, let's see what else we got here. Good old PowerPoint as well too. And you'll see it's actually running pretty, pretty smoothly. All the, all the programs I've already actually opened up. And for the most part, still running pretty strong. Let's go ahead and take a look at the memory usage, probably getting close to like 80 or 90%, who knows. But believe it or not, it's only at 48% here. If this was actually the base model, I would already be struggling at, uh, like I said, 80 or 90%, as I was trying to say earlier. But this is actually running pretty well for the 8 gigabyte model. Now, 8 gigabytes is still um, obviously not the best in terms of, uh, you know, Windows 10, Windows 11 performance. But if you had to choose over eight or four gigabytes, the answer is pretty obvious there. After four gigabytes, and four gigabytes, and literally opening up a browser or just opening up Word or Excel is already, you're going to start hitting performance issues and just bottlenecking limitations just because of that. You can actually see here, this is uh, still running pretty strong. And I can probably just go ahead and literally just restart this whole tablet. And it'll just literally just reboot without an issue. Again, as I said, the Go Tablet series is basically not the fastest device on the market. If you really plan to do some professional work on this uh, particular device, um, such as video editing, which requires a lot of raw power, um, this definitely may not be the device for you. If you're gonna just be using it for uh, basically internet browsing, looking at videos, binge watching Netflix and whatnot, um, even drawing on paint or Photoshop um, with the accessory of the using the pen, this actually might be the device for you. But again, this is definitely the eight gigabyte model, the base model. Again, and I already mentioned many times before just how limiting that particular model will be, but it also serves a purpose as well too. As I mentioned before, watching videos and binge watching on this, you know, whether Prime, or Netflix, or any other streaming channels you like to look at, this tablet definitely actually does the job really nicely. And um, you can actually see here, I'm just watching a YouTube video of mine here that I've uh, very popularly have seen and, and shown before in other videos like this when reviewing these particular little, little tablets, where basically um, the video is actually running at 1080 and working pretty well. Putting it up any higher, like 1440 or 4K, will probably start giving you some little bit of jagged or stuttering effects, unfortunately. And uh, that's obviously something we don't want to see on this device or any other device. You might need something a little bit better, but just out of curiosity, let's just see what happens if I actually do put it at, let's say, 1440. Really not so bad. It really all comes down to speed on the internet, obviously the Wi-Fi receiver on the tablet itself, and of course how it's processing the video itself. We can actually jump back here and go to Task Manager. 
you'll see even trying to minimize back to regular screen it's struggling a little bit and um, you see it's already starting to uh, hiccup a little bit CPU is actually pretty high and that's pretty obvious it's running at 1440 on uh, this particular video so if you're looking for better performance between the base model in terms of raw processing power probably not going to be able to find it here unless you jump into the higher tier uh, i core i3 model which is something i'm hoping to get my hands on very soon because i believe that's going to be the little uh, go three tablet that i actually really do want to end up with so you can actually see here there's a little bit of limitations here but again i'm really pushing this to the limit and additionally i'm also running off battery power Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed this. I actually wanted to keep this video a little short. And uh, I actually was planning to mention this in the beginning of the video, but of course I forgot. How on earth do I have Windows 10 on a Go 3 tablet when this thing came with Windows 11? If you're curious about that, definitely do have a video and I'll post it in the description below as well too on how to go ahead and toss Windows 10 on a device that comes with Windows 11 on it. Nothing that there's anything wrong with Windows 11. No, I guess we'll see. But personally, I'm just rather use Windows 10 on this particular device. So, hope everyone enjoyed this video. Definitely shoot a like and subscribe. I'll definitely be posting some more reviews. I also got my hands on the latest and greatest, um, not particularly greatest, but definitely latest generation of Ryzen CPU. So, look forward to a review there and uh, reviewing some other boards as well too. I'm going to go ahead and really enjoy doing that, getting my hands on a particular uh a fleet of motherboards and seeing how the performance is on that wonderful little CPU I have. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, stay safe. Take care, everyone. Bye.